to BeHoopsCrochet.com. I'm your host, Brittany. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make the foundation double crochet. By using the foundation double crochet, you can completely eliminate the need to have a foundation chain. If you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, I'll be using a worsted weight yarn and a size 6 millimeter hook. To begin the foundation double crochet, we just need to start with a slip knot. And when you place the slip knot on your hook, just make sure you've got it a little bit loose. We want to work our tension a little looser than normal when we're working in foundation stitches. So from here, go ahead and chain four. And again, make those chains a little bit looser than you normally would. Now we want to pay close attention to the first chain that we created. Now I have my chain turned to the side. And from this angle, you can see I've got a bar here and I've got that back bump right there. So I want to work into those two loops. So I'm going to yarn over first, insert my hook into that first chain, and just make sure I catch both of those loops under my hook. Now we'll yarn over and pull up a loop. And again, you want to pull that somewhat far up there. We want to make this relatively loose. Then yarn over and pull through one. What that's doing is creating the chain down at the bottom and we need to have that in order to make this foundation chain straight. So you always want to make sure you do that. From here we can just finish the double crochet. So from here we just want to pay close attention to this loop right there. And then if you turn this over you can see the back bar of that chain that we created when we just yarned over and pulled through one. So we want to yarn over again, make sure we catch both of those loops, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we need to create that chain again so we'll just pull through one and now we can finish the double crochet. And so that's really all there is to the foundation double crochet. Really the hardest part is remembering which loops to work into and not forgetting to add that extra little chain down at the bottom. So you'll notice here we're actually working vertically. So when we crochet normally we're crocheting from one side to the other but here we're working from the bottom to the top. And so once you get that concept in your mind then this actually goes pretty easy. And the other thing that you may struggle with is your tension. So I actually had to practice quite a bit because I naturally crochet pretty tight and so my tight crocheting style just wasn't making a very pretty foundation. So I basically just had to tell myself okay I have to crochet much looser than I normally would and it actually looks better when you do that. So it looks more even and uniform. So once you've made any number of foundation stitches that either your pattern calls for or however many that you want for the project you're working on, then you can just jump right into the second row from here. And so say we were going to make another row of double crochet, we would just chain up three like we normally would, flip our work, and then we would start working our double crochets into the stitches just as if we had created a foundation row with using a chain. This concludes our demonstration on the foundation double crochet. Stay tuned for more free patterns and video tutorials at BeHookedCrochet.com.